な I don't want to alarm anybody, but uh, uh, I just uh, well, I don't want to alarm anybody, so I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Cause it's okay with you. A lot of people talk smack. I don't want to be one of them. Could you, could you? Ma'am. When I'm up here talking, um, I would like your undivided I, I, uh, Why doesn't anybody listen to me? People can Sir? What are you doing? May I help you? I'm just uh, looking, really. It's a nice collection. Oh, don't be alarmed. 
spell will you? I'm not alarmed. I just... I think that you are a little curious, aren't you? Yes, I... I'm having a little bit of an identity crisis. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Would you like some tea? No, ma'am, um... Am I in... Am I in, uh... Britain right now? Why, oh, yes. Yes, you are. Oh. They said to me that, uh, you know... I could expect to show up... Anywhere... That I wanted. Um... It's kind of like, you know how they do that, uh, spin the tail on the, pin the tail on the, on the donkey? Yes, I, I've heard of it. Well, that's what they did, and I was deep underground in a, in a military bunker, and they were doing some kind of experiments on me, and I just haven't been the same ever since. I'm just incongruent, and when I speak, I just... I can't really string things together very well. I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not all there. Oh. Well, if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Yeah, um, so, yeah, yeah. I'm in London. Yes, you're in London. You know, have you ever heard of these deep underground military bases? Yes, I have. The Dumbs. Yeah. Who thought? Do you know? I kind of feel like I was in one of them for a long time, and uh, I just I don't I don't have a really good recollection of how I got there, and I just. don't even know why I showed up in, in London, because I'm an American, and I've got no reason to be here, and I, when they were spinning me around and, you know, pin the tail on the donkey, it's really just pin the tail on the map, and I guess I pin the tail on, 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 on London. It would seem so. Are you, are you part of this? Be honest with me, are you? are you? You're very beautiful, and you have a sweet innocence to you, and you're statuesque and feminine, and it's beautiful, it's wonderful, and you're foreign, or you're at least English, and, uh, but you definitely seem to be a little bit aloof, considering what I'm telling you is weird. Yes, it is weird. Will you... You showed up at my shop, all of a sudden, and I don't have an explanation for that. I was attending to my own affairs, and I turn around and there you are. It's quite unsettling, because I know you didn't walk in the door, as the door has a bell, and there was no ringing of the bell. So I don't know why you are here, and I'm alarmed, but not frightened. You should be frightened, because this doesn't even make any sense, madam. See? There is something going on in the world at large, and I am a part of it, but I don't understand it. Yes, it would seem that way. Please tell me what it is about the world that doesn't make sense to you. Maybe I can help you with that. No, I don't think you could help me with that because where I just came from was so top secret that 
I don't even have a firm image of what it was. I just know that I was underground in a, in a military base because I was surrounded by soldiers who were all looking at me. And they just kind of knew what they were doing there. Oh, that certainly is strange. How did you know that it was underground? I think I heard them whispering something about being underground, I think. But they were doing experiments. And it was part of the experiment. Something about teleportation. And maybe... Well, maybe they just got it wrong and here I am. Maybe they got it right. Oh. Well, you don't know why you're here. I do not know why you're here. But you might be here for some very important reason. Do you believe in God? What does that have to do with anything? Well, before you arrived I was praying for an answer quite urgent to me. I needed an answer, and I needed it soon. And you think that I'm that answer? That I just quantum teleported from a deep underground military base to your tea shop here after hours where you're cleaning up? And I'm your answer because you were praying to God? I was praying to God to bring me a man. And here you are. And you're quite attractive. And kind, if not a little disoriented. I don't mind. I think it's endearing. Shall we have some tea? I can't wrap my I can't wrap my head around this at all. I'm so sorry. I just don't get it. What if somebody had prayed for me to be in that deep underground military base, and then I just quantum teleported to that deep underground military base because someone there had a need and so I just show up everywhere in the world where anybody has a need and maybe they just had a need for an experimental subject like a guinea pig and there I was and then I was playing pin the tail on the donkey and then some beautiful English lady wants a man and prays for a man and I just quantum teleport across the damn Atlantic and here I am and there's no need to be alarmed. If there were any danger, I would know. You are the answer to my prayers. I just prayed before you arrived. But what are I? Well, I am honored that you find me attractive. It's really sweet. Um, I'm honored that you think I am the answer to your prayers, but what about me? What about my needs? I have needs too. Then I suggest you pray. Pray as if your life depends upon it, because it does. So, you know, I'm having this thought that other people are praying, and I'm getting kind of buffeted about. It's being sent here and there, as if I'm some disposable item that just can show up and take care of people's needs. What if I start praying? Maybe I'll get my needs taken care of, and I just won't be shuttled back and forth. 
that's fantastic, but the truth is, I'd rather you not go. I think you're the man for me. And I think if you, you were to pray and think about your heart's desire and were to consider me in that light, you would see that I am the woman for you, that there's no doubt that you are the answer to my prayer. Ooh. So maybe I'll just start praying for an answer. Some kind of clarity about this because I don't have any clarity. It looks like that I'm involved in something that's way beyond my sense of understanding. It may be very important and maybe I'm part of something larger. Oh, you most certainly are. You are a divine and majestic man. I melt when I look at you. Oh. Thank you. I love feeling a woman's desire. It's just, uh... Ah. It helps. It's a, a balm for the soul. But I also understand that if you need to go, go. I'll be here and I'll wait for you. I have been waiting for you for so long. I cannot tell you. Every day I've prayed. And every day I've known that one day you would arrive. And here you are. But I know that you cannot stay because you have a larger purpose to fulfill, a larger mission. Do it. Answer somebody's prayers. I don't want to answer somebody's prayers. I think I answered somebody's prayers and I ended up in a deep underground military base and I didn't do what I was supposed to do there. I was supposed to do something there, and instead I just was in the middle of a room with all these soldiers looking at me as if I didn't belong there, or they were in shock and awe at my presence. They, they were fully armed, and there must have been 25, 30 of them, maybe, maybe as much as 50, I don't recall. But they were in a they could have subdued me, but they didn't. I am teleporting in response to people's prayers. Where are they? Did you do that? No, I didn't. But I'm glad you did. We're doing it together. So that's a prayer answered. Yes. That is a prayer. That was a prayer that we just answered together. Yes. I believe it was. No, don't, don't pretend. 
pretend that you don't know what just happened because you just did that. I didn't do that. No. You did that. That was you. I was only along for the ride. Whose prayer did we just answer? Adam, if you will never know, come, kiss me. just feel drawn to you, but I think I'll wait, I have all these prayers to answer. It's not like the Yes Man, or is it Bruce Almighty, I think, where Jim Carrey's at his computer and just answering all these prayers when he's gone. It's not like that. Everywhere someone prays, I show up. But what am I doing? Well, you're just being you. That's how you answered my prayer. But, but, but what am I to these people who don't even know me and they're just putting up a prayer to God? Well, it's because of you who you are. You're someone special. I'm not special at all. I'm just a regular guy. No. That's often what special people think, that they're just normal and they're regular, but they're not. They're anything but normal and regular. But if I am being shuffled around and shuttled around to all these people to answer their prayers, I don't even know what I'm doing. I just got sucked into some kind of electromagnetic vortex and wormhole somewhere inexplicable, like I'm in the 2001 Space Odyssey. That somehow I answered that person's prayer? How in the world did I do that? Perhaps you are a carrier. You are a carrier, I can tell. You carry a code. Or codes. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't carry codes. I'm not into any of that. I had done nothing special in my life. That I can recall. That you can recall. Do you know how difficult it is for people these days? So much anguish. Across the planet. There's so much. And you. How's the answer? Just by being you, you are the answer to their prayers. And you don't understand it. But you don't have to. You're the answer to mine. But we met. I'm not meeting all this. Oh God. It just happens again and again. And again, and I'm starting to see it in real time. I'm getting it. How do I help? How do I help whoever just called me and summoned me? What am I doing here? You're answering someone's prayer. anybody. I'm no one. But that doesn't mean that I'm nothing. I may be no one or nothing relative to society. I'm not important. I'm not significant. No, you're not. You're none of those things. But you are lit. You are 
alive in a way that none of these people are lit or alive. And so when you touch them, you heal them. They are traumatized. I was traumatized until you showed up in my t-shirt. And now we shall go together. For you have healed me. And I can heal others. It doesn't seem like we even have to touch anybody. They call us, we arrive, we transmit, and we're shuttled elsewhere. <sighs> oh God. Are oh, you seeing what I'm seeing? We're not even limited by time. We can go into the past. <laughs> This definitely does not exist yet. Are you just as normal as I am? Or are you someone special pretending to be normal? I can assure you I am very normal. You can't be anything but normal. To do this, any vainglorious ego would simply get in the way. Have you ever wondered what's really going on with this body? It's so demeaned and degraded and forgotten. But it is God. Made flesh as flesh. And it's not the prerogative of simply one historical individual 2,000 years ago. How could I be answering people's prayers unless I was approved? You were approved. We are the dyad. The dyad shows up answer everyone's prayers. I called you forth from below the earth. You were lost. Yeah, I was. I don't even remember where I was before that moment. I was in the military base being experimented on. Being experimented on. I was being experimented on. That's why they were looking at me. <laughs> and then I found you. I somehow need you. I can't do what I need to do. And I don't know who I was. I am without an identity. Maybe that's why they looked at me. With that look in their eyes, they'd never seen anybody made of light without an identity. Zipping off, zipping back, performing miracles by just transmitting the healing energy from the divine flesh. God incarnated. But I'm not anything special. I'm just a prototype for everyone else. Yes, you are a prototype. And you instantaneously transmit the prototype to whoever meets you. You imprint them on the experiment. That experiment has gotten out of their control. That's why I was so far underground. That's why they were guarding me. Because right when I woke up, I wouldn't be around for long. The 
the entire planet needs to answer each other's prayers. Everybody answering one another's prayers so that there was only just praying all the time. Constant prayer, incessant prayer, all around the globe like a chrysalis. And inside that chrysalis, We just love each other. Yes. Love is paramount. And then maybe you do it a little bit differently than I do it, but we both show up. And we answer the prayers to you as you would. Me as I would. Different man, woman. The team, the dyad. Why? Why have we forgotten? Yes, we have all of us, and now we are remembering. Thanks to you. <laughs> I, I don't think it is. Because of me. I think I may have been chosen, but not because of anything in particular. I think everybody is chosen, and everybody will begin to teleport and answer one another's prayers, and that is the answer to our prayer. between us. There will never be consummation. There will always be one prayer that is not answered. So the universe can begin again and again. You must. It's my prayer, you must. No. That will never happen. Because that is your truest prayer.